When the United States sent B-2 bombers to hit Iran's underground nuclear facilities with their most powerful bunker buster bombs, the whole world was watching. And now, while everyone has been talking about that, India has been quietly working on its own solution to the underground bunker problem. And our approach is completely different. Well, India's Defence Research and Development Organisation, the DRDO, is developing the conventional Agni-5 variant with a 7.5-tonne bunker buster warhead that is capable of penetrating 80 to 100 metres underground before actually detonating. And unlike the nuclear-capable Agni-5, which has a range of about 5,000 to 8,000 kilometres, this version of Agni sacrifices the range for its payload and that is limited to about 2,000 to 2,500 kilometers due to the heavier warhead that it will be carrying. The Agni 5's development cost uh, was approximately a 292 million dollars with each missile of the Agni 5 costing around 6 to 8 million US dollars. See the bunker buster variant's cost is not public. But estimates suggest that a 10 to 20 percent increase has been there due to specialized warheads and guidance systems. Potentially, that's about a 7 to 10 million dollars per missile. Uh, so at this price, how does India's bunker buster compare to what the big players already have? The United States uses the GBU-57 massive ordnance penetrator a 13.6 ton bomb that is delivered by B2 bombers, costing about $3.5 million per unit. It can penetrate up to 60 meters of concrete. Russia's KAB-1500L can penetrate 20 meters and is cheaper at roughly about a million dollars per bomb. And that's deployed via aircraft. China's YJ-21 hypersonic missile with a limited bunker busting capability costs an estimated about 2.2 to 3 million, while India's missile-based approach is unique, offering flexibility over air-delivered systems. It avoids the need for costly bombers. However, India's warhead is heavier than most, which enhances its destructive potential but reduces the range to which it flies compared to the US or Russia. Now, Pakistan, our neighbor, is reportedly exploring MIRV technology for its Abadil missile. But there is no confirmation. There's no confirmation of the bunker buster program of Pakistan, which gives India a regional edge when you look at what India could actually hit. The Agni 5 bunker buster is designed to target hardened underground facilities. What are they? They are command bunkers missile silos or even nuclear storage sites. In Pakistan, for instance, likely targets could include the Kairana Hills, a suspected nuclear weapon storage sites and underground facilities in Balochistan or near Kahuta, where nuclear research is reportedly conducted. Now, these sites, often buried about 80 to 100 meters deep, are very, very critical to Pakistan's strategic arsenal. The missile's precision-guided warhead with indigenous avionics and a circular error probable of a few meters ensures very, very high precision and accuracy. India's focus is on regional deterrence, particularly against Pakistan and China, whose Dongfeng-41 missile poses a long-range threat. The bunker buster enhances India's ability to neutralize fortified targets without relying on nuclear warheads. It aligns very well with its NFU, that is the no first use policy. However, developing this capability is costly and very, very complex. The Agni 5's base program cost about $292 million with the bunker buster variant approximately requiring an additional R&D for warhead design and guidance systems, potentially pushing the cost further to about $350 to $400 billion. What are the challenges that we face? The challenges include miniaturizing guidance systems and ensuring warhead reliability compared to the US, which spent about $400 million developing the GBU-57. India's program is fairly cost-effective, leveraging the already existing Agni-5 infrastructure. 
However, timelines remain uncertain. With the estimates suggesting that operational deployment of this bunker buster bomb by 2030, India's bunker buster Agni 5 positioned itself as a formidable player in the strategic warfare rivaling global powers like the US and the Russia while outpacing our most immediate enemy and that is Pakistan.